there exists a saying that on the night of All Hallows' Eve cometh the hour, cometh the moth. It was close to midnight on the M49. I dropped off my last delivery, I was heading back for the night. Had to get my van to the warehouse before my next day shift in the morning. Had a one man stand a drop off before the next day sun would be dawning. Driving along the carriageway, heading for the Ivermouth Depot, not of the car in sight. They were all at home, but they had more sense than me, though. And my headlamps lighting the road, which, while correct, was a big mistake. I heard a crash upon the roof and made an emergency stop with the brakes. Myth, legend, tall tales for couriers and delivery drivers. I glanced in my side mirror and immediately wished I'd been a skyver. The eyes like speakers forged in the heart of a supermassive black hole. Autumn leaf wings with crimson jack-o'-lantern, eyes of their own. The Ivermouth lurks in a cave in the upper reaches of Clifton Gorge. Upon DBD and DHL, delivery drivers it likes to gorge. Royal Mail are a bit too minty for this monster's ruthless tastes, but now it tried to lift my van like it was taking off into space. It tried to stab me with its proboscis through the windscreen. It sliced through the wipers and nearly my head like a guillotine. The tires were floating off the ground. This van would surely be my grave. Just as a distraction beckoned to the moth and drew its empty gaze. It latched on the nearest lamppost but smacked its head on the pole. It fluttered around between the lights and I decided it was time to roll. I flew down the road with holes in my van but it was a worthy price to pay. I screamed when I looked behind me and saw the moth was flapping my way. Good job my workplace has a plan in place for this situation. They've got microphones on the roof listening out for the moth's vibration coated below the bay doors with a salary's worth of lavender. So many sticky traps on the ground, it'll be an insect massacre! I arrived in a panic, told the man on the gate, it's the Avon moth! I parked the van round the back to keep me safe from the moth and its wrath. A mist engulfed the place, but the guards kept watch through the gloom. A transit van started up to be on its way, but it met its doom. We never heard it coming. It dove through the fog like a four-winged ninja. It pounced upon the van, and now everyone could see the giant in fringe of a driver swerved and spun. But the moth's six leg grip was just too strong. It's a times like this you long for the first notes of a sunrise bird song. Just then the night watchman remembered his job and flipped the switch. The floodlights dazzled the bays and their frazzling beams had the power to bewitch. The moth took off and bounced from light to light like a fuzzy pinball. In smashing all of the bulbs at once it was being set up for a pitfall. Ten bulbs were just too bright and the moth crashed into a loading bay door. The lavender covered its wings and smothered its eyes till it saw no more. It landed on the sticky trap and thrashed around like a rolling carpet. Sacrificed a leg to escape but the purple on its back will mark its target. All the mists are cleared and the Avon moth has disappeared. We're keeping a lookout but we hope the moth the giant's wings are sheared. We just keep on trucking with all our deliveries received, and the Avon moth won't appear again till next All Hallows Eve. You gotta be careful. You keep you keep your lights on at night. He's he's gonna come back. Start bumping into them. Just keep a lookout and get some bats. <laughs>